Today I'm gonna be giving you the 4 best biohacking tools you can get your hands on. And to dive straight into it, let's start with number 1, which is going to be the Oura Ring. So the Oura Ring is a wearable device, a wearable ring, which is pretty much tracking your activity and sleep. Now the Oura Ring's metrics for sleep are proven to be the closest to an actual clinical sleep test. This is why many people use Oura Ring to track their sleep and this is why my clients do as well. I'm sure you've seen many entrepreneurs, many famous people, successful people wear an Oura Ring and this is not a coincidence. Oura Ring and just tracking your sleep in general in that precise manner is going to be extremely beneficial in order for you to know how to improve your sleep. When you have solid data about which metrics of your sleep are underperforming, you know how to tackle and then improve them. For example, if your problem is that you're not getting enough REM sleep, you can fix that by attacking many variables, such as decreasing your room temperature, making your room darker, making your room quieter, and so on and so forth. So when you have solid data about which metrics are bad, you know exactly what to do and you know if it's improving or if it's not improving. So I want you to think about it like this. If you're running an ad campaign, are you going to let the ads run by themselves without even tracking the metrics of how are they performing, if they're underperforming or if they're doing extremely well? I think you're not going to do that, right? The same thing applies to your sleep. If you're not going to be tracking your sleep and knowing what's up, you are never going to reach your ideal levels of focus and performance. Tool number two, or maybe tools number two, I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So this is going to be any type of blue light blocking glasses. I suggest True Dark, even though I'm not sponsored. And it's also going to be any other gadget or light that is going to block out blue light. So what I mean by this, you have your blue light blocking glasses, you also have your red lamps and your Himalayan salt lamps. These three all prevent blue light from coming into your room, your house. What I mean, so you wear the blue light blocking glasses if you're watching TV, if you're using your screen, if you're using your laptop, right? You are putting the red lamps in your house, in your furnitures, if, you, if it's nighttime and you want to light up the house without disrupting your melatonin production with blue lights that's coming out of your lamps, of your out of your regular lamps. And you also have your Himalayan salt lamps, which is uh, sort of mimicking the fire uh, lights, which is also preventing the disruption of melatonin by the blue lights that's coming out of regular lamps that we have. So these three are major, major keys for keeping the melatonin production as natural and smooth as possible and when you're trying to do that because as entrepreneurs we tend to be working in our houses for many many hours in a day right so with this most of the time we have the lights open we are in front of our computer screens and many of us do not use glasses or have lamps any sort of blue light blockage in going so what this is effectively going to do for you it's going to help synchronize your circadian rhythm without getting your body confused pretty much about what time it is. So your body does not really know if it is time to go to bed, if it's time to produce cortisol and wake up. So best thing to do in order to block this from happening, in order to prevent this from happening, is acquiring blue light blocking glasses, uh, red, la red lamps and Himalayan salt lamps. Biohacking tool number three is the gut testing kits. So the thing with gut testing, and many, many people underestimate the power of gut testing, uh, it, you can have a clear under understanding, judging by the results you have, what you should be eating and what you, sh what you should be avoiding. So let's say, for example, I am incorporating in my daily diet oats and milk, oatmeal, for example, right? Uh, so I take the test, haven't eaten those two foods, those two food sources, and after I get the results, it says that I should avoid eating them. What I mean by this, it gives you a good understanding of what foods are causing trouble to your gut, in simple terms. Uh, let's say inflammation, bloating, gassiness, 
and any other symptoms that are causing you to feel groggy and low energy. So this gives you a pretty clear understanding of how your gut works and how your gut reacts because many, many people in our everyday lives really have those symptoms and don't really pay attention to them. Now, because your gut and your brain directly communicate with each other, any sort of biological waste that goes off your gut directly goes through your brain and it creates that feeling of grogginess, low energy, and you lose that mental clarity and focus. And finally, the tool number four is the standing desk. So this tool is a really useful one when you're working from home again many, many hours in the day, okay? So for example, you are working 12 hours from home in a desk that is seated all the time. You're hunched over in front of your screen. This is not optimal for your body's recovery. This is not optimal for general health and focus. So what this ultimately will help you do is whenever you're feeling tight and you're hunched over, you know, you're feeling achy, you just elevate your desk, you stand up, you keep your body flowing, your blood flowing, keep your body moving, okay? So whenever you start feeling tired again, you push the button, lower the desk and sit back down. So this allows for a certain uh, switch between seated, standing, seated, standing, in order for you to keep moving, even if you're not actually moving, it's better to stay standing than to stay, stay seated because your body is an adaptable machine. Because if you're seated for eight hours a day, and I know many of you are not seated for only eight hours, with your body being an adaptable machine, your muscles, your joints, your posture, your limbs are going to form that stance in, in which you've been sitting all day. And then this is going to cause posture problems, joint ache, you're gonna have lower back issues, gonna have back issues, because if you're gonna be sitting hunched over all day, your body is going to adapt to this position to make it easier, as easy as possible for itself to be seated in this position for as many hours as possible. Because this is what you're ultimately telling it. If you're seated eight hours, 12 hours, 15 hours like this, you're telling your body, we need to make this position more comfortable for us. So in order to do that, we need to sort of change the natural body's posture. So in order to prevent that, get yourself a standing desk and you are going to be able to prevent this problem because you want to be proactive with these things and it's massively going to help your posture, your body's overall health and you not feeling tired all the time by being seated. So yeah, in order to summarize briefly, in place number one, we have the Aura Ring. Number two, we have any blue light blocking device. You have the glasses, the lamps, the Himalayan salt lamp. Number three, we have the gut health testing kit. And number four, we have the standing desk. So by utilizing these four tools that I gave you, you're pretty much modifying your environment to its fullest. You're maximizing your capacity to perform at your peak. And with this way, you are going to ultimately achieve what you're looking for, which is peak performance, which is peak focus, which is going to be enhance your health and optimize it. If you want to perform like the best of the best, you cannot leave the things at chance. You cannot leave your luck decide. You need to be proactive with those things. You need to do things that others will not do. You need to make sure that everything around you and the, the environment, the tools you have are in your favor in order to help you reach your maximum potential. And if you are interested in working with me and if enhancing your performance and health is something that you want, feel free to check out the link down below in order to book a call with me and see if you are the right fit for our program. So without further ado again, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace.